Welcome back inside the joint at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Legacy Fighting Championship number 29. We've already seen two stoppages tonight and we've seen a wedding proposal. Still ahead, it's Fuller versus Brookins in our co-main event. Jonathan Brookins down to 125 for the first time. And also the big one, the light heavyweight strap on the line. The experiment continues. Paul Buntello and Myron Dennis. Coming up now in the lightweights, this one should be a rip snorter. Chris Pesero takes on the awesomely popular Thomas Longacre. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the cage representing American Revolution, Chris Pesero. The man they call the Enigma. Pesero on a free fight win streak has won seven of his last eight. Five submissions, four knockouts. And there you see the streak. Obregon, Ray Rodriguez and Adam Schindler. Let's take a closer look at Chris Pesero. Chris Pesero is a guy that's fighting a very good striker tonight. Maybe one of the absolute best he's ever fought. And he's done good against those strikers. Very good at getting takedowns, putting people on their back, pounding on them, getting submissions. Uh, so we'll see how he does against Longacre, but he stands to do pretty well against most strikers. He'll need that tonight. Pesero actually comes in off a kickboxing match against Dimitri Ivy and Corpus Christi on February 8th. He's got to look out for Longacre's kicks here, the spinning kicks, the high kicks. Longacre throws them from all sorts of awkward angles. Says he plans to be in Longacre's face. Pressure him, use the clinch, and submit Longacre with a leg lock. Pesero, who has two sons, Cash Eric Pesero, Saku Element Pesero, named after Johnny Cash and Sakuraba. Now, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome to the cage representing Team Thunder, Thomas Longacre. place just went nuts and this is why listen to them they love the man they call thunder kick thomas longacre it's been a while between fights for longacre his last fight in strike force he beat travis kellanoff that was back in 2009. Took the time off to get his own gym up and running, and here he returns. A man who's competed in karate, BJJ, boxing, kickboxing, and MMA. Started training in karate in Goju Ru, an Okinawan style, also did Taekwondo, wrestling. He wrestled for Kellyville High School. A nine week training camp worked mostly on his conditioning. He's been fighting for 16 years, Longacre. He says knowledge will prove the difference. Casero 11 and 5, the undefeated Longacre. Longacre is nine years the elder. One inch the shorter, has one pound over Casero, reaches equal in the arms, Longacre with the longer legs. And I've watched Thomas Longacre fight a couple times live. This guy can bang. Very dangerous striker. We'll see if he's still sharp after the layoff. Ladies and gentlemen, our third final of the night has been brought to us by Ready Every Second and is scheduled for three rounds of five minutes each in the Legacy Lightweight Division. Introducing first on my left, fighting out of the MO2Go.com red corner. He stands five feet nine inches tall, his official weight 154 pounds. This well-balanced fighter enters tonight's contest with 11 victories and five defeats. Fighting out of Corpus Christi, Texas, Chris the Enigma Passero. Across the cage on my right, fighting out of the Star Motorcycles Blue Corner. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, his official weight 155 pounds. This fighter enters tonight's contest with a perfect, perfect record, 6 victories, no defeats. Fighting out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, Thomas Pretty good final instructions, Mark Carter. Come here, Doc. Ah, that'll have to ask you if 
you're ready. Fight hard, fight fair, set them up, let's go. Mark Carter, the referee for this one. Many people saying this could be the fight of the night, and certainly if that introduction is anything to go by, the way these two men are looking at each other and prowling back and forth like a couple of lions. Well, we are in for a good one. Lucero, kick to the groin early, accidental. That one takes the inside fight. Southpaw here, back to Orthodox Pacero, who will switch a little. And he's kicking nice and high that inside thigh to that femoral profunda. Long leg, a good evasion. Takes another inside leg kick, and one more. Pacero's already found range with those inside leg kicks. Yeah, doing a good job of coming forward. Chopping that base out underneath Longacre. First look at the ground game for Pacero and Longacre. Pacero throws the legs up. He's going to look for a submission here. Got a high guard going. He's got options here. One arm pulls out of there. He's got the triangle. Can pivot for an arm. Can go to an umaplata. A lot of different stuff to do. Closing down Longacre. Maybe the Yama Plaza on that right shoulder coming up. No. Long Acre out of trouble. We invite Pacero back to the feet. He drops. Yeah, I don't think Long Acre liked what he was feeling on the ground there. And we'll see if there's any signs of ring rust on Long Acre. The crowd support here 100% behind Long Acre. When he walked out, he brought them down. When Pacero walked out, you could hear tumbleweeds flowing through the joint. So switch from Long Acre. Switching up south part, took that kick. Long Acre's been around a long time. He knows to throw that head kick. Good right hand there from Pacero. Pacero just scoops out the kick anyway. Yeah, doing a pretty good job with his defense, is Pacero. Long Acre oh, forward and slides into the left hand. Pacero backs up. Long Acre rips to the body. Pacero trying to juke it off the cage here. Smiles at Long Acre, but he was hurt. Long Acre kicks him again with the right hand. Pacero lands a right hand of his own. Long Acre is hurt a little bit from that. He got clipped in and he's cut. He has cut over the left eye is Long Acre. And Pacero rallies back. Referee's going to okay. call time to look at that cut just to the side of the eye of Long Acre. It doesn't seem like a type of cut that the referee should be stopping for here. Right? No, no, not Ready? a bad enough cut for, for a stoppage there. Keep him up at two. Come in, fight! fight. Outside leg kick from Long Acre. Set it up nicely. See if Pacero starts hunting that eye, that cut. Oh, Long Acre, beautiful combination work. Pacero faked, instant through at the knee. Long Acre saw that coming a mile away. That was very good instincts. Got out of the way. Forearm guard against the round kick. Long Acre's boxing in this opening round has been exquisite so far. Good. Particularly with the strap right across and he did his body shot. And very good parrying, very, very good job of dealing with the kicks. Outside leg kick from Pacero. Then goes an inside thigh. He was working that inside thigh in the opening minutes of this round. And hasn't done so in the last minute and a half. Long leg through evasion. Catches the kicking leg. Couldn't score a counter. Left hook outside leg kick long leg. Not enough muscle behind him, but it does score for it. Uchiro Gerdi turning back kick, looking for the liver. Pacero hurt again, but he juice off the cage. Single leg here from Long Acre. And tell you what, Long Acre does not look like a man who hasn't fought since 2009. No, he's actually getting back into this pretty well. Doing a nice job hitting a couple takedowns in this fight. Coming from a guy that's done a lot of kickboxing and boxing. Pacero's corner, a barking for him to throw more punches. He switches his southpaw back to orthodox. Long Acre, trip takedown, lands the right hand. Yeah, I got that takedown off a head kick. Got his foot back to the ground and shot. Just 
solid round here for Longacre. Back to his feet with 30 seconds on the clock. And it's not that Longacre really feels he wants to be on the ground with him, but he's doing a good job of getting the takedowns, making him think about that also during these striking deals, which is great for spreading out the defense. There it is again. Up kicks here. He got up some good combinations on the feet this area before going to ground. Good left hand lands for Longacre, eats a couple of up kicks. And this is how the first round ends. Both these guys really had bright spots in this round, more of them by Longacre. But Pizarro there getting clipped, didn't have his right hand up when he was throwing his left hook, and he got clipped in the head with that left hook right over the top. There it is. That's why you keep your right hand up when you're throwing a hook, because you can eat one. Look at Longacre, good head movement, blocking with everything he can. Little deflections, catching the kick. That's the way it's done, man. Good defense. You don't get hurt if you've got good defense. Go ahead and get the map right there. Let's go, get out, get out. Send nine long says Pat Milicic after one. Outside leg kick for Sarah. She's had success with the leg kick so far. Good job Thanks mixing up the side bar. That, he was hunting the liver with that spinning kick. And close with the left hook, Longacre. Inside leg kick, a little too slow on the retraction for Sarah. Couldn't make him pay. Trying to kick for the midsection. Looking for a take down here, Longacre. Drives him against the cage. Back to Sitchikov. Tried to change up to the uh, bars of guard, but ran into the cage with it. Body head goes Longacre, as he did for most of the first round. Very quick with his hands, Longacre. Casero, <laughs> right hand falls short. Looking for a count off the left kick, Longacre. Longacre does a good job doing low first and then over the top with that hook a lot of times. Snappy inside leg kick from Longacre. Longacre looks the worst for wear of the two. Clearly see if some reddening around the right side. They count over the left side, but he's winning this fight. Yeah, look at, look at the way he's digging to the body a lot. Showing that he's a veteran of striking. Oh, no. Here comes Pacero. Longacre was rocked. He dropped down for a double, and Pacero is going to try and finish it. Better get wrist control. Oh, that's a beautiful head kick from Pacero. That long anchor got a little overconfident, I think. Didn't think he could get hurt. Pacero knee to the forehead. That line's up. Momentarily out of trouble inside. Pacero's pull down. Pacero's going to turn this fight around right there with that. Don't know how badly Long Acre's hurt. Long Acre left the arm in. Pissero couldn't catch it though. And Long Acre out of trouble. Well, he knew enough at least that he had to get back up to his feet, so he's somewhat here. Pissero had an opportunity. Another head kick. Long Acre's arms are dropping. He may be tiring now, Thomas Long Acre. Pacero looking confident, switching stance, hands down around his waist. And you see how Longacre has slowed down, how he's more flat-footed now, not moving as slightly as he did earlier in the fight. Now that head kick definitely took a little bit out of him now. He's 36 years, a five-year ring absence. He's starting to show for Thomas Longacre. The man from right here in Tulsa. Took the first round, 10-9. Was winning the 
first half of this round, but now you feel that Pacero is the one in control. Boy, hurt him with that head kick, but Longers are diving in and getting that takedown to save himself. And now coming back, I don't know if Pacero actually is winning this round if this continues. As long as it gets gets back to work here. Pacero's corner is saying there's no power anymore. Monega has no power, just keep going, walk through. Checks the low kick, Monega. Oh, barely miss that one. the leg kick, but again, no snap behind the cross of Liger. Gets on the outside of the right hand and kills the left from Liger, connects. Just a little slower coming back on his counters right now. You can tell he can see him happening, but he might be a little too fatigued to, to pull the trigger. Let's see if Pissero's going to fire a round kick here. There it is, up the right leg, he goes to the inside guy. Body shot from Pissero. You wonder if Pissero being nine years younger also and the layoff for Longacre could add up toward the end of this fight. Step up knee from Pissero. Longacre gets a takedown. 20 seconds remaining. Second round of three. It may be an even fight now after two. And as they head to the corners with one round remaining, Six year old still have left to give here. Very good round by Patero there, man. Came back nicely in that round. Hey, Longacre does a good job. He's a C. Yeah, man, man. Good job of changing levels on his attack. You can see him dig into the body. Nice body shots there. But got a little too overconfident. Right Pizarro here. snuck the head kick in, shin bone to the back of the melon. That'll make you see stars. Here it is one more time. Got some sprays over here. Perfect timing on it. Landed it beautifully and uh, almost got him out of there. Indeed, one round of peace, 19 points even after two, says Pat Miller's here. Go, 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 get out! Good job, Dad. The crowd puts up the chance for Lonega. Five minutes remain. Round three. Round three. Round three. I have a feeling this third round is going to be great, Michael. These boys are going to get after it. And indeed, Pissero goes that inside fire, lands a jaggy right hand. Pissero's opened up strongly here. I tell you what, Lonega let me get those head kicks in. Mouthpiece flew out somewhere. Time. Give it to him. Break. 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 His corner never gave him the mouthpiece. <laughs> well, we hit the hand on that one. That'll hurt. Yeah. Not long ago. It'll actually hurt the kicker. Foot will definitely be sore in the morning. Outside leg kick from Pacero. Pacero, the confidence again oozing on him. Almost trying to bait Longacre to overextend on something. He's a little desperate and look for a counter. Weathered the storm in the first, coming back strong in the second and now the third. Longacre wants to drive into the canvas. Can he get him there? Indeed he can. And he dropped his hips in nicely to cover the gap, not allowing Pacero to get up there. Longacre allows him back up. Pacero won this striking in the second, has been winged here in the third, lands the right hand, hit there from Longacre. High kick Longacre. He kind of wobbled him a little bit, I don't know. Longacre again with the takedown. You know what, good timing on his takedown, he's really impressed. Needs to, needs to inflict some damage here on Pacero to score some points. 
as he's losing this round on his feet. Battleberry fighters here. And a little bit more snap in the tail of Basero. Nine years the younger. Good outside leg kick Basero. Glancing head kick. Just tries to shake Whoa. the head. Still a head kick there from the leg. Tried to catch him with the heel on the jaw. Those do hurt. Just past the halfway mark of this third and final round. It was two, I should say, an even fight after two. You can feel that you're scoring the striking to Pacero here in the third. The takedowns to Longacre, but follow through with the takedowns, he hasn't really done much. Drives another takedown. Half gone now. But he's got to score points while he's down here. He's got to inflict some damage. You can't just score a takedown necessarily as damage. Controlling position, but ah, getting rolled. Nice half guard sweep. And now it's up position for Pissero. Lands the Amicus strikes. Inside the guard of Liga. Liga closes it. I think Pissero recognizes the sense of urgency here with Longacre being loved in these parts. Definitely got to get to work and do a lot of damage. Yeah. Take, trying to take the arm here. Pissero tried to sink the sub. He's not like he's going to get his back. No, he gets melted. One minute five remains. You know Becerra would like to finish this fight in this position. Or that one. Longacre like gives his back. And Becerra flattened him out. Can he sink a choke? Becerra. <laughs> seconds to find the sub. Longacre's almost out. Longacre's trying to get that leg out of there. Got a bulldog choke. Across the jaw. Nice job stepping behind. The crowd screams as Longacre like momentarily looked like he was going to take the back of the body stuck again. Pissarro transitions nicely though right into hunting that arm. This is how the round will end. Pissarro looking for a sub on the right arm. He won't get it. What a return to the ring for Thomas Longacre. Very good fight, both guys. And after a slow first round, a solid second and third for Pissarro. Pissarro doing a great job. The second two yeah, rounds came out. back nicely. Came back nicely. And Longacre for that long layoff. Pretty dang good performance for, what, five years of ring rust. Fight Pissarro changed the complexion of this fight. At the moment he landed that head kick and hurt Longacre. Wouldn't you say, Mike? It was the turning point. And let's go to Colin Cantrell. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for both these fighters, leaving in the cage three solid rounds. Judge Jim Lambert scored the fight, 29-28. Judge Tim Tolchi scores the fight, 30-27. And Judge Jason Greenwald scores the fight, 29-28. All three for your winner by unanimous decision, Chris Passero! Chris Pissero continues his winning streak, a four-fight streak now. Thomas Longacre can hold his head up high. After a five-year absence from the ring, at 36 years old, a great performance. We've